Welcome back. A blockbuster series at that spirit, taking on the boys on Shopify Rebellion. And if I remember correctly, Fear saying yesterday, the best region still in North America. And then again, action continues. Smash cards from Mira which could give them the opportunity. Kitrak's doing a really good job though to stay on top of Collapse with the bugs. We see the damage from the AT. One more right click. Nevermind needs an extra now with this stick. Kind of baited Kitrak into tower range, but Collapse has got zero regen now. Oh, dead. Oh, got him. That's interesting. They're starting to just drag waves on this top yeah. lane. They're doing it in such a manner where it's not necessarily to dodge that world. Like, yeah, she continues mirror the trade. Bang on Arteezy, what? Wait a second, but post group and TP's in as well, and Arteezy no will get the kill. <laughs> he won't get the kill. Sableye, looking to try and get first uses out of his ultimate. Should be enough with Yopage nearby. Perfect timing with the chain control as well from the Conquer. You were caught. Oh, flame break is even better. Okay, well done from both the supports on Shopify. And so far, so good in that aspect. Might get even harder. Going to go in for the kill into Yopage. Shopify wanted to go the long way around for the team fight. The Echo Storm will still disrupt and they barely tickle Yopage collapse. That's a lot. When he, came, he went in with the TP, Fearlacore responded with his own as well. And meanwhile, Sableye, he recognized they guaranteed the kill on the Razor. He turned over the low. And yeah, that is an absolute disaster in the mid lane for Spirit. They're just like playing keep away from Yatoro, making sure he doesn't have a lane. And instead, they're putting all their effort, all their resources into shutting down Laurel's win ranger. And Yopage, have they gotten too aggressive? Maybe we saw it happen last time. The Pudge kind of looked for the TP out. They got the damage, all the stuns. Oh, good TP. The, the rift completed, so he just escaped before the stun. And now they're going to collapse down bottom onto the Razor. Uh, this is this is the Shopify that we have seen with the previous iteration where they just obliterate the laning stage. Because all they can do when they're behind is just hit creeps. And the saber lights like, I know that's all you got left in you. Wait. I'm not even gonna let you do that. Are they gonna mass deep. TP in? Okay. They're fine. Maybe they think twice about this attempt on Shopify. Maybe they don't. Maybe they actually want to go for collapse. Bit of a bait seeing if there's some TP cancels that give him a false sense of security and still look to kill off the Razor. He doesn't even get the full stack as well. And Thelacor, he's higher net worth than the Wind Ranger now. And there it goes. All right, he can go to the other shop and get it. It's not that big of a deal. Horn Song's going to be used. Meatball almost is not in the post. <laughs> They're gonna be able to get the Phoenix under the tower. They will, and also, hang on a second, Lyle TP'd in, but Arteezy was already set up. And Kitrak and Sableye, they'd be 2v2ing two, two right now. So Shopify don't even need all five members to take one single fight. They're gonna try and TP in the live still, but the Radiant's completed, but this is a 5v2. Are they even worried on Shopify? Kitrak's gonna TP out. Sableye's lacking, of course, some spells and the health now. This Vitoro is feeling strong, wants the Terminate Infest, that's a big kill. They need to get so much more out of it. Unfortunately, all they get is a Sableye kill. So that was just kind of down for that fight. And, but that left a kind of an opening here. And triple BKB is what Team Spirit really need to be looking oh. for, as unfortunately, <laughs> Bloodthorn is a choice from Arteezy. He's going all in on this Orchid. Very strange. Oh man, Paul Potia. It is uh, support Not nonetheless. They're gonna steal the wisdom, get the tormentor. It does look like. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the face <laughs> palm moment is laughing. Well, oh, you might give that 10% back. And yeah, they know, they know he's dead. No one's coming. Because they're all trying to sit up bottom on Arteezy, but I think he saw Mirror as well. They're gonna get it, dude. What? Yep, yeah, they got it, they got it. They just didn't see it coming. Read. Yeah, Toro. It's all on your Toro. Let's just put it that way. He's got to have the performance of a lifetime here. Hero. Really aggressive jumping off the Olacor. Well, it's a beautiful last one to collapse. And there's so much weight on your Toro now to turn the fight. And he just will not be able to do so when the current position is in. 
They can chase him down. Rage on cooldown for a couple more seconds. The silence will prevent it from coming off. It's great armlet toggles. It'll give him that separation with the meld. One more right click again. Another use of the armlet will get your Tora away. Maybe Yopaj mid though. This is going to be an option here from Spirit. I'll get the start. Now with the stun move, Refraction's gone instantly. And that's right, a great pick for Spirit. See what they're able to do potentially off the back of this fight. Shopify, they're ready to go, but they're going. They want to try and jump the weaver. Weaver. There's the first one. They need the follow up. And Mars not there in time. And now all of a sudden, Yatori, he's going to get caught out as well. Because the core clips him with the tip of the last throw just on the escape. And Spirit, they might lose more as well. Lol. Probably going to have to pop the BKB. And he's going to go for a TP. I don't think it's going to matter though. Pop the wind run before answer. He's going to cancel it anyway. He should be able to get the kill into the wind ranger. So it's going to be a three for nothing in the end. And Shopify will continue with this game one dominance. Maybe we're looking for that third Roche on Radiant side. Some, some type of scenario like that. Speaking of Roche, yeah, right. two supports. Two Roche has been killed. Now Mira mid lane as well. And Amira. What's the warrior? Are you doing? I know what's going on. I haven't seen in a while. Normally he's playing a bit more passive than they're going in. Yeah, you're, you're gonna die. Oh, that's where the confidence oh, comes in. Maybe not. All right, maybe Lull does instead. Wind run on cooldown. These are some big numbers from Marteze and the Oh, That's a nice choreo. That's a helmet on Razor. Meanwhile, Heron, they want to take the fight and dive in, but it's a little bit messy. The shots from Mira doesn't hold them in the egg, and they're going to get Lull. Before even the BKB, before a hope of even using any spells, Mira snowballs into his death. They might be able to chase down Collapse too. Sableye sniffs him out in the trees. A hope of a TP without a BKB, but that will be stopped short. As they got more to Maposhka. They even found the Phoenix down to the south. On what you can do on Mira compared to Thelacor, this man's network difference is absolutely night and day different. And this is a last ditch fight where Thielicor currently isn't there and Yopash is also isolated from the team. He's gonna have time to be able to pop the BKB. The Torrent's normal cries from Chaos Yopash unable to TP away. The Aegis will be in the hands of Artesian. Ah, it's just, they're too far ahead. You use everything for the kill onto Yopage, and now what do you have left to be able to deal with the rest of the Shopify members? They'll deal with the egg. Yutori's gonna try and stand strong. Scepter freshly completed. Should net him the kill onto Sableye. But it is Yutori against the world. They can just hide him into oblivion. They dance in and out. Mirror's still alive to offer a little bit of control. It's a triple kill in the end. Maybe they get the ages. I mean, Toru is showcasing that he's not out and of the count just yet, but man, it really feels like you said earlier, it's a 1v9. Toru doesn't have much help. <laughs> or Toru knew that spot was not safe and that collapse ran there too. And, well, he's going to find out why Toru didn't want to be in the area. Unfortunately, this is going to result in Arteezy. There's nothing you can do against us. There's no use. Wait, oh, what? Uh, okay, oh, they're no, in. No, 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 that's not what they want to move uh -huh. uh, yeah, yeah, like This, I mean, your Tori pops up, but the instant Lasso is there. This time, they're going to try and hold the life still down with the Lasso, but it will result in a big kill and one where your Tori doesn't have a buyback. And, and we've seen what the, the rest of Spirit have been able to do. It is only the life still, and with him gone, that will be game one secured. It did take them probably a lot longer than they were expecting with the lead they had, but regardless, Shopify are going to be able to take this 39 minutes in. Really good performance from them, start to finish. I really do like Team Spirit's draft. Like, compared to last game, I really didn't like their draft. Any other suggestions that you had? Do we have time, though? Maybe not. <laughs> we don't have time. We got a first blood. I think that's about to happen. I'm, I don't know on who it looks. I thought I'm a Pushka first. But apparently it's going to be on Theolico. Oh, no, no. The push has got level 2 as well, which is going to be very valuable for the damage output. Stabilize. Nice flame break drag back. 
And they're not even going to get the kill onto Yutor. And meanwhile, uh -oh. they're going to turn it back around. Fairy Fire keeps him in fighting shape and just completely misread that with Shopify. Fortunately, it does look like Yopage is having a pretty good time versus Storm Squid. Um, we'll see if it's going to be any different with the level sixes and some extra rotations. Hold up, bottom lane. Of course, the TP out with the poison starting to stack up. But Postgre, he, he's all in. Uh, he's got no other hope. Got to hope he tries to get the kill before the death. Unfortunately, Saber Light. Big six saves lives, apparently. Mid lane now, Yopage. Yo. Chains away, he's fine. That's like the downside here. Okay. Are they going to get killed? No, nah, not with Sailor Core here. And hang on, now the turnaround could be a threat. The track going to jump over the top. Still they're thinking about Yopaj. Two points of reactive armor keeps this guy healthy. Very cute Iron Branch play. Gets him in range for the Whirling Death. And, and now with the stacks, he should be able to reach him through the damage. In fact, he might even look for the turnaround. Kid Track will leap over the top. You're trying to get to your eyes. Scotty, you're trying to get to like these big items as quickly as you possibly can. And top lane, collapse in trouble. That he is. He's pretty far away from the T1 tower as well. So the TP from Lull. And he's gonna try to get some revenge onto Arteezy, who... Uh, but Lull's out of mana, though. And he's gone way too deep in the hopes oh, that he can no. a trade. And in fact, it just Boy. makes it so much worse for Spirit. Oh, wait, never mind. He wants him still. I mean, they can't yeah, really last out of And they actually got to him. I mean, Yator is coming as well with meta. There's no way that Post kill lives and they actually <laughs> kill Yopaj. No, no. Are you sure? It's I'm not going to find you. Uh-oh, Yatoro! Oh, they're going to have to burst the tension they do. And they're even going to get a plus one as well for their attempt as Yopaj get a little bit of revenge on the support. Mirror wants to bring Saber Light down with him. Not be able to. So that's the, a tower that's going to be clean. Note that it was plotted. Oh. Arrow going to miss. Oh, oh no. Oh, then. Well done, the first guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> well, Kyle will ever break his three and play like that go to waste. Collapse going to be able to TP in, and Amira even comes over as well. Just a boat connection. And they're going to be cautious, oh, though. Oh, Emerson. He's got his own blink to look to work with. Your Tor is here as well. Why not? We're going to have a party in the middle lane. Artis is going to get chased down, but excellently being leveled two is got a pretty low cooldown. And again, very cute with the illusion. So, uh, Spirit, well, hang on, Yopaji, but he doesn't care about people bloody blocking him. Oh, uh, yeah, he's been playing it really well. Nice prediction. I, that's yeah, more this just definitely a isn't a thought. game. I think you're playing versus like some spirit hero. Maybe it works, but. Oh, well, what? He's going to get caught in there. Gigantic. King God. Down he goes. Can they take the fight for a five, though? And this is a true test of Joe Paj's power. Meanwhile, Lau, along with the last one, is going to be able to stop the stampede away. So it's really going to be able to send some of the momentum. And meanwhile, you don't even have Yutoro here. He's beating onto a T2 tower. They've got a glimpse and they're going to hunt him. They don't see anyone. You can't be farming this. Kill. They need to get you Tor, and they should be rewarded off the back of the smoke. So no one showing you Tor has always been known from being able to read smokes. Crazy spider senses. They're going to be able to get mirror as well. At least he's able to sneak the wisdom room. It looks like probably with the position they'll look for the tormentor as well. Both of these lineups have really good Aegis carriers, and they're going to last though. Okay. So much damage as well. They're thinking yeah. about showing up to the team fight. Artis, he walks down the secret shop stairs, but... Collab? Uh, they saw you, buddy. You might want to run. I don't think he saw that arrow fly by him. <laughs> I don't think he saw. There's an arrow that literally flew right next to him and grazed him. A net worth investment. Is he in trouble? Oh, uh, oh yeah. That, that's off. big trouble. That is big trouble. I mean, this is also without the Prasma, which is now completed on a lull. Meanwhile, Yatoro, the other carry, he's also in trouble as well. Feel the call. Maybe with the Terror Blade Lucians might be enough. Yopash looking for the finishing blow. Thunders up in eight seconds. Timber should be able to dispatch of him at a quick enough timing. But can you deal with Lyle Storm Spirit? Prasma is now completed. Stable Light does a great job to hunt down Mira. Now they might be able to turn to Torrance, but the Torrance storm could prove to be an issue. As Lyle doesn't have the greatest mana to work with currently, but that should be plenty to be able to deal with the Centaur. 
As Murphy's just still thinking about going back in. Theoretical holds the banishment for the last second. Saber gets the blink away. And now this is starting to get a little bit messed with the team spirit. They won't be able to catch up to Theolacorp. Such a hard Luna game from my perspective. And so far it has been. RTC 0, 2, and 7 right now. Not be able to find a lot. But with this BKB, oh, maybe. I set the Earth spy. They're going to get the best initiation, but that's when the point is. Oh, they last hold them. You don't need to worry about missing the spells when the last two is always on point. And now Sableye. All right, that's an ambitious TP, my friend. You are dead. Along with Theolacor as well. Gem picked up off the deck. He just anything. down in 20. Sableye's going to be able to get the jump. They'll target this line at the moment. Oh, Arrow with Taurus nearby as well. Arrow does hit the mark. It's a beautiful torrent from Collapse. They get your Yorifash. That's the big one they want to kill to start. And they should be rewarded. I mean, a banishment, but it will do nothing as again. And that's a fight they want to take on Dyer. Ortiz here. And they're still around. Hang on. Okay. Ages expires. They get the kill at the perfect timing with the Eclipse, but are they going to get out? I'm not going to get no question. TP. You're going to lose Kid Track, and it looks like you're probably going to lose RTZ as well. Flame Break to push him back. It's just up to the positioning. That's a pretty nice Manta, but now you don't have it to stop the reflection. So RTZ, it's all or nothing. Stand your ground and fight, but it's not going to matter when collapsing your Toro. Surround the Luna in the end. An ultra kill for your Toro. Torrent Storm, there's a lot going on there, and I think this is just, unfortunately, just the way the draft kind of panned out where oh. Drop by Rebellion needed to be in a position where they were ahead in that one. Or this they're coming down pretty happen. quick. And they don't have everyone at the moment on Team Spirit as well. Again, all eyes on Yopage with the damage output. But the Torrent fans on two buys enough time for them to reset. And it'll be a one for one. They really need this big kill into the core. 10,000 deficit. You're hoping to get an injection of gold. Claps has still got the BKP to work with me. Taurus standing on the high ground. No medic here for the Terror Blade. Maybe the damage is going to be the one thing in question. Not when Lol oh, has a Laurel. long zip him. Assassinates Kid Track onto the back line. And now can turn to deal with Yopage as well. As Arteezy was, didn't have any possibility with showing up to this team fight with the current location. They took it. And that will enable Team Spirit to once again have a successful skirmish. To pop the smoke. So at least it's going to be onto a support. But... He will not survive. Mapochka might even look for a plus one, but he's already used Tarnik and he's got to use last as well. All right. And there you go. You see the disruption instantly countered by the Lions. Manager. This one feels too good to be a TB. A little bit deep, my friend. That is very deep. Can they punish? <laughs> what? What figure? Dog goes Steelicore. And they're not going to get anything out of it. So it doesn't matter how deep they go, apparently. T4, what, well, Yopash? That's a very early BKB. Okay. <laughs> well, look at the crits. The Toro. Half health gone on Yopage. And, and now, how does he even have a, a possible hope of fighting without BKB? Oh, he didn't get the BKB off on... Well, as well, zipping over the top to try and do everything. But he's damage for this first day for 10 core. And now there's no save for Yopage as well. And they've got no bite. Good luck, our tour. And it's this game. If Tora can't do anything, sorry, Arteezy can't do anything, if Tora can do everything this game. And Spirit, they will even it up. It's the 1-1 tie for us in our last three.